I was telling women from the East, I said, don't sit down there. Your men have more meetings than the United Nations. They meet every Sunday. I mean, um, uh, this, what's the name of uh, Ndigbo? Y yeah. This Ndigbo, yeah. that, that you women will be dressing, wearing uh, and co, Ashwebi, going out with them, knowing that if anything happens to this man, even at this meeting, you might not get home to meet one property. So what are you people meeting about? Your men don't have wills. You tell them to write a will. The men will refuse to write a will, saying, do I want to die? So what is your protection? You don't have a voice. You don't have a job. You are a housewife, so you have no finances to fight back. They take the children. The children, when you see your child that was going to a private school, the man dies now they can't afford. Your children are relegated back home and distributed and shared amongst family. You, uh, what exactly are you talking about, women, especially from the East? What are you talking about in your various meetings? And you also are the same people that will sing and clap at a widow who just lost her husband, calling them uh, witches, and your time is also coming. What are you doing? There was one that I brought here last uh, about a month and a half ago. The brother, as the man died, he fell in his shop. The shop attendant called his older brother. The older brother came from the shop. They took him somewhere and to different hospitals, then eventually took him to the east. Now, the wife had been calling because for three days she was looking for her husband. How the husband got from the shop the to the east? She did not even know. They didn't even call her. They were carrying her. And she was calling the brother. I can't find your brother. I can't. Where is he? She was going mad. She went to the police station. Meanwhile, they were carrying him up and down until they took him to a prophet. And eventually, he gave up the ghost. So, after four days, they now call the older brother of the wife. Yeah. That he should tell the wife to come to the village for the burial. You were looking for your husband, your husband. first of all. Yeah. Probably it was a case of kidnapping. Suddenly, you are told to come and attend his burial in the east. And she said, how can you want to bury without me, without the children? She has four. I think that maybe you should speak as a legal person from a legal mind. The necessity of one understanding testate and interstate succession and why it is not a thing to be afraid of. Like, we're going to die tomorrow. If you are in a family, if you're from a family where you're sure that your brother will look after your children, it's not even a guarantee to die without a will. But at least you can say, well, I have families that will look up. And I think people don't even know that they are from families who are not going to look after their families. Because many times, the stories we'll hear, the wife has been say okay let's call it an okay relation cordial enough for it to be called a family relationship with extended uh, aunts uncles brothers uh, in-laws you know and they only realize that they have been living a lie when the husband dies then they just realize that these demons emerge from the darkness and come and ask that they want blood and life or <coughs> blood and life so so how do you help them understand interstate and testate successions the it's just simple one died with a will one died without a will yeah now the problem of dying without a will is that you open your home to vultures yeah. especially family the problem we have basically has been people spiritualizing the issues of death you tell someone to write a will they quote back to you i shall not die but live to declare the <laughs> glory of god and you know what does that have to do with anything yeah. you need to understand that the mortality rate for men in nigeria is 41 so by 41 you ex you i can tell you you have lived a good life thus far Okay. So when you know that we don't live long, I was made aware of one place and I was around Fadi area and the gentleman was telling me that ah, this is street. Now, so so landlady, all oh, the landlord don't die. I was like, ah, ah, as in jokingly, he said seriously that all of them on the street, all the landlords are dead. So while I was still talking about it, someone from Benin said, ah, ah, come Benin, now so so landlady, no, no, you know, <laughs> men don't live long. It is a fact because of the pressure on men men don't even know they are sick men, how many people check some people collapse you 
make it an arrow issue, but he had had BP. He had, you know, he had not taken care of his diet. He's been eating all kinds of carbohydrates. He's diabetic. He doesn't know. You know, we have all kinds of hidden sicknesses that we don't even know. We fall down, you get up, you go ahead, you don't know that as you fell, you hit a, an artery. You feel some pains, you go to somebody, say, let me, let me use uh, a boniki tool. You, you, you know, you don't know that that is a blockage. Uh, the, the sole duty of a father, uh, you know, there's a difference between a husband and a father with the definition of a husband is the one who is legally married to a woman. The definition of a father is a man in relation to his child. So uh, you could have a husband and not have a father. Yes. yes. You could have a husband who is just married to you without any ounce of responsibility. We've had cases that we've seen that even the women borrowed the man the money to pay her bright price, meaning she paid her own bright price. Mm -hmm. The woman had been the one housing, feeding, and, you know, we've had all those someone is nodding to what you're saying i'm sure she's heard <laughs> too many of them <laughs> so you could have uh, a husband who is not a father but the very expectation of a husband is that he should be a father and the primary is to protect and to provide you don't only protect and provide when you are alive you protect and provide with your essence that is your soul which should live on after you have people whose father's names are still opening doors for them though their fathers are long gone the person i told you that just died uh, that the uh, zone two matter was yeah. 41 oh he was no. 41 he left home going to work he didn't leave home on a stretcher he left home he walked out his bare feet and got to the office his shop at um computer no alaba side and then you know, just slumped. So when you are thinking you will live forever, you now, the problem we have a lot has to do with religion and culture. When someone mentions will, they say, oh, you want to kill me, Abby? Mm -hmm. You want to, you know, I shall not die but live. And then you die. Seeing that you don't have power to protect your own self. You die, then what happens? They wouldn't, what, what, it wouldn't it just be safe? Would a piece of paper kill you? This thing that we are talking about is as devastating, but we ignore. Yeah. We, we, oh, we send them back. You know that second victimization? You say, no, God hates divorce here. We, we say, well, let us settle it. There is no discussion with domestic violence. It claims lives. People are emotional. You, we've had four people that came from the psychiatric hospital to my office. They ran mad, as in their marriage made them mad, paranoid. The, the, the lady came with her daughter. She didn't recognize her daughter. She was saying nurse, nurse. And the lady kept saying, you, the, some people's the marriages can run you mad because of the emotional abuse, the psychological abuse, how you are never good enough, how you are this, how you are that. I told you, I, 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 I keep saying I told you, you told me. I was at uh, uh, one of our chairman's house. He is the chairman of an organization. And the wife served him. And I was sitting down there. And he looked up and she went to get the w a glass of water. And she stood right there with the glass of water till he stretched his hand. He got it. And I was like, ah, that uncle let uh, mommy, I will want to talk. And she was just like, oh, no, don't worry, it's okay. And huh? I said, is she going to stand right there holding uh, water for you to... Uh, so, you know, it was now like, you know, took it and said uh, she can go. I just got up. I said, Uncle, I think I am also, would, I would take my leave. And I looked at him and he looked at me. He knew that. He said, eh, no, there was no space to put. The, I said, there was no space on your tray to put a glass of water that your wife had to stand right there. You know, I was getting uncomfortable because she was just holding the glass of water, just holding the glass of water. And he would take a drink and put back on her hands. And she was standing right there. The, the way abuse is, 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 is crazy. And when we allow oh. our people... Oh, good God. You are on 
You are unbelievable. You are unbelievable. You're telling me things that I think is enough for a war to kick off. Like, you're unbelievable. I've been doing this for tw about 22 years now, Joyce. And what I have seen is uh, not is not um, is not palatable. I've also it's not just the women or men. You've seen men go through abuse. It's 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 theirs is worse because they they don't want to talk. Yeah. How do you tell me that my your my wife beats me up? I don't want to fight, but you know you just have people there was a time i was in uh chief the chief magistrate's court in the four houses away the wife beat the husband down he was running down tumbled down the staircase then stopped running he was bleeding towards the magistrate court and i thought was a thief until they said ah oh, that's how his wife beats him all you know all the time they just baba tell you baba tell you people now start holding the wife you know she was so good with weapon sticks and all that Men also go through. Then the curses, is this what your mates are buying for? The, you know, the, the, it's um, just marry right. And if it is not working, it is not working.